Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for March 8th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day Inventory We continue to take personal inventory and continue to set right any new mistakes as we go along. We vigorously commence this way of living as we cleaned up the past. We have entered the world of the Spirit. Our next function is to grow in understanding and effectiveness. This is not an overnight matter. It should continue for our lifetime. Continue to look for selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. Thought to Consider When I am too busy to pray, I am just too busy. Acronyms ODAT One day at a time. Just for today. Focus. From the three legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. The Washingtonian Society, a movement among alcoholics which started in Baltimore a century ago, the 1850s, almost discovered the answer to alcoholism. At first, The society was composed entirely of alcoholics trying to help one another. The early members foresaw that they should dedicate themselves to this one aim. In many respects, the Washingtonians were akin to AA. Their membership passed the 500,000 mark. Had they stuck to their one goal, they might have found the full answer. Instead, the Washingtonians permitted politicians and reformers, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, to use the society for their own purposes. Abolition of slavery, for example, was a stormy political issue then. Soon, Washingtonian speakers violently and publicly took sides on this question. Maybe the society could have survived the abolition controversy, but it did not have a chance from the moment it decided to reform all America's drinking habits. Some of the Washingtonians became temperance crusaders. Within a very few years, they had completely lost their effectiveness in helping alcoholics, and the society collapsed. Alcoholics Anonymous Comes of Age, pages 124-125. Daily Reflections. Turning it over. Every man and woman who has joined AA and intends to stick has, without realizing it, made a beginning on step three. Isn't it true that in all matters touching upon alcohol, each of them has decided to turn his or her life over to the care, protection, and guidance of Alcoholics Anonymous? Any willing newcomer feels sure AA is the only safe harbor for the foundering vessel he has become. Now, if this is not turning one's will and life over to a newfound providence, then what is? 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 35. Submission to God was the first step to my recovery. I believe our fellowship seeks a spirituality open to a new kinship with God. As I exert myself to follow the path of the steps, I sense a freedom that gives me the ability to think for myself. My addiction confined me without any release and hindered my ability to be released from my self-confinement, but AA assures me of a way to go forward. Mutual sharing, concern, and caring for others is our natural gift to each other, and mine is strengthened as my attitude toward God changes. I learn to submit to God's will in my life to have self-respect, and to keep both these attitudes by giving away what I receive. As Bill sees it, thousands of founders. While I thank God that I was privileged to be an early member of AA, I honestly wish that the word founder could be eliminated from the AA vocabulary. When you get right down to it, everyone who has done any amount of successful 12-step work is bound to be the founder of a new life for other alcoholics. AA was not invented. Its basics were brought to us through the experience and wisdom of many great friends. We simply borrowed and adapted their ideas. Thankfully, we have accepted the devoted services of many non-alcoholics. We owe our very lives to the men and women of medicine and religion. And speaking for Dr. Bob and myself, I gratefully declare that it had not been for our wives, Anne and Lois, neither of us could have lived to see AA's beginning. Number one, letter, 1945. Number two, letter, 1966. Number three, letter, 1966. Big book quote. Now we go out to our fellows and repair the damage done in the past. 
We attempt to sweep away the debris which has accumulated out of our effort to live on self-will and run the show ourselves. If we haven't the will to do this, we ask until it comes. Remember, it was agreed at the beginning we would go to any lengths for victory over alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous, Into Action, page 76. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. We must go to AA meetings regularly. We must learn to think differently. We must change from alcoholic thinking to sober thinking. We must re-educate our minds. We must try to help other alcoholics. We must cooperate with God by spending at least as much time and energy on the AA program as we did on drinking. We must follow the AA program to the best of our ability. Have I turned my alcoholic problem over to God and am I cooperating with Him? Meditation for the day. The joy of true fellowship shall be mine in full measure. I will revel in the joy of real fellowship. There will come back a wonderful joy if I share in the fellowship now. Fellowship among spiritually minded people is the embodiment of God's purpose for this world. To realize this will bring me a new life joy. If I share in humanity's joy and travail, a great blessing will be mine. I can truly live a life not of earth, but a heaven life here and now. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be helped and healed by true spiritual fellowship. I pray that I may sense his presence in spiritual fellowship with his children. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. This is Kurt. I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to Daily aaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.